So, uh, yeah, let's see how this ends up playing out. Everybody, game one of, I believe, to be the final set of this block. And already starting off building a slight little wall. Steve gonna be just holding on, trying to mine, get some release focuses, just trusting Kells uh, to keep anybody off of him. I think the trick might be like if uh, interacting with Game and Watch Upbeat or um, excuse me, Game and Watch Upbeat or a Peach Back Air or something like that is just gonna, naturally going to be a little bit hard for Sonic. They have to Kells has to play this almost passive aggressive game. Oh my God! Meanwhile, <laughs> oh, what Lord. is happening on the upside of that stage? What is going on? That's big. Taking out a Steve stock means that. Like, Steve can be not only hard to deal with, but also hard to make hits matter on. And now you just took out that one stock, no problem, not even a minute past. Wow. But okay, you see Link trying to land, not actually going to be able to uh, get a hit there. That's going to be Log Lumos losing his free stock at that point. Going to be just holding these down smashes at the ledge. Uh, nobody's there, you know. Casper's there. <laughs> Game & Watch is just like he has something to get through, you know? Yeah, he's, he's, he's working really, through it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's his training. Have you seen how heavy those mallets are? He's getting those sure, biceps yeah. in. He's, he's a little, you know, he's not as built as he would like to be yet, <laughs> but he's getting a little bit He's working on it. You respect the grind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is a precarious... I love that. The full length of the boat from uh, from Ling there, forcing Sora into getting a little bit antsy, yeah. and then catching the air out of from us. Game and Watch just like watching workout videos, like how to go from 2D to 3D. <laughs> 3D Game and Watch win. <laughs> but he, when he goes to the gym, finally, finally gets like jacked, <laughs> like uh, like he needs to, you know. And you too can be like your friend, Mr. Game and Watch. Yeah. Anyway, he's gonna be looking through that down <laughs> smash right now. Oh my gosh, gets that one up, maybe dashing back a little bit. Love that target switch from Kells, alas, a little bit too late, not fast enough to actually punish Link in time. Getting super precarious though. I mean, look at the stock count here. Ling just being super calm. Blue team uh, very, very overwhelmed, it feels like, by the fact that Ling has just been using float to avoid Sonic's ground speed, but stay Ooh. out of Store's effective range. Yeah, really just dangerous working. stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay, Link trying to go for the FC now. Doesn't actually find it. Not just going to be looking for the way to win. punish the up smash. Does get it. It is awkward because, like, the block. Um, you know, disappearing would cancel effectively the end lag of the up smash. So he instead just like punish like the next best option. Now, as this game starts to get lesser and lesser, and as we're seeing the first stock of Ling not even drop yet, though it is closer than it seems with Bagramas down one, uh, down to their last stock and in the middle of a Steve combo. Now wait, hold on. Can't count them out just yet, especially as Kells makes it back to stage. Can they complete the edge guard? No, they side switch over to Bagramas. Getting more and more dangerous by the second here, Dara. Okay, now just looking for a way to be able to land. Ling gonna be looking for the back end, uh, and you know what? Just instead ends up getting that side beat. Oh, this is a 4 to one stock lead. And Kels is gone. Yeah, chooses to drop it. Didn't want to have to deal with that anymore. It was getting close, but a solid turnaround from Ling, who uh, didn't drop the stock that whole, that whole game. Yeah, let's get that up B kill. I wanna, I wanna see if I've got a clip on that, a little replay on that, please. No? Tragedy. Ah, that upbeat thing was so cool. Yeah, I agree. The just chaining off of Game & Watch's juggle game, and instead of just the reward just being damage, it turns into a stock. Yeah. Like, she, just, she drags you up with her. <laughs> she takes high. you going. OK, so we're going to be going on to game yeah. number two here. Uh, this I, was tough. Yeah, this was I can really one. see what you uh, were meaning earlier when we uh, prior to the PK Chris Suarez set that Ling and Lagermas played through, where even though they're in losers, this team might be the most dangerous team left in the bracket. Oh, yeah. They have synergy. They really they have do. synergy, they have damage output, and they have lethality. That is something that not a lot of teams in doubles can say. Like, sure, you know, they get those A to Bs, they get the damage out there, but can you take those stocks? Yes, they can. Log is the closer. In and out, always. Very nice. Well, I guess in the case of Link, that up kill was just saucy. That was cool. That's it. When you have the opportunities, especially against Steve, and, like, Kells and Sora are really discussing this, like, Wow, the like game one did not go well at all for a team that was on winner side top eight like this. It fell, it fell through real quick. They need a, a kind of a remap of how it approached, especially since 
like Sonic Spin Dash is so good at controlling the ground. Oh yeah. But what if like Peach can play like a grounded game that's not on the ground with her float aerials and everything loses the game and watch up be. Yeah, no, she basically has like grounded like esque like buttons. Yeah. Right? Especially like even with two up in hand, right? She's just able to do that while uh, floating. Okay. We're getting into it though. Everybody game two, they're gonna be running it back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Kells opening off nice and bold. Spin dashing in, trying to go ahead and help out the teammate, and then ends up getting hit by the very same move. Game and watch neutral, like big, active, and gets anybody that jumps into it. Disjointed as well, but I mean, speaking of those, uh, a character switch and a, a, a worthy one given how it seemed to go in game one, uh, the Pokemon trainer is out for sore, uh, trading off from the Steve in order to make sure that, hey, I can exert a little bit more dominance on stage. I'm not reliant on materials that may or may not come at, at the proper oh, yeah. times. Less time wasted playing a mini game. Right. Less mini games, more Smash Brothers, and boy oh boy, PT plays more Smash Wheels. So PT's real good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. tired of play T players underselling their character. This PT is broken. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. Um, but okay, gonna be looking through that back here. Fades back with that side B. He's not gonna be able to get that up here that moment in time. Gets one little bit of a back here. Now, Lagrimas gonna be sitting at the ledge. Tries to go through that down smash, but Kel's so clutch with that PCF tilt. Link gonna be actually losing a stock. And Lagrimas too. What a switch. The coverage, throwing after all that shield discipline from um, from Soar, Glockermaz tried to roll out of the situation and it turned into a big opportunity for Sonic, though that down smash into forward smash comes in clutch, given how uh, the deficit could have snowballed very, very quickly. Oh yeah. But that's actually not gonna be the stock quite yet off on um, on Soar. Still gonna be staying alive is what I would say, but then Link goes out there. Link's movement, phenomenal off stage, oh, by the so way. Good. Fading in, fading out. Kells had to keep getting back onto the stage because even she was afraid of how that peach was floating. It's so devastating when you see just a peach float in there, like Daisy sitting there and it's like, I have to contest this perhaps like giant back air or giant neutral air. And can you really afford to take that much damage as Sonic or as, uh, you, I mean, you can as Charizard, but not that close to the blast zone. Oh, attempting as an edge guard from Logger Moss, though, looking to make some early stocks of, your, of their own. But I love to get that delay. back here. Yeah, the homing attack just able to come in so, so well. Kel's not being put in tech chase. Catches that landing, doesn't get that back here. Tries to maybe catch a landing yet again. Logger Moss backing off. Now, uh, I've got to say, Kels is interrupting the whole flow of this match. Somebody gets hit, it's okay. She's there, she's on top of it. She is playing so well. Oh, and the jab conversion as well off of the simple one, two, three from Kells converting into Ivy up air. That seems to be the, the place to be that Sora wants to stay at. I, well, the more Ivy Sora, the better. And it's working out real well in this game too, especially given how game one seemed to go. She comes back onto the stage, deals that much more damage. Okay, looking for that F-tilt. And okay. What a call out. You just did like the rock eyebrow raise to me in real time. <laughs> <laughs> Having seen that. I wish, I wish we got that one on camera. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. I guess that would be killed. I guess. It worked out. It worked out enough. Oh, what a combo. Off the back air as well. Off the up air chasing so far. Okay, there goes Ivysaur though. Even stocks across the board, but you're going to need way more than just a couple strings to go yeah. in your favor. Can you close? This is going to be the question to answer. Link makes it back onto the stage. The question is, for how long is that going to be? Stalls, waits, slowly pop the downing, and that Link it used as an opening to get back onto the stage. She tries to push him with the dash attack, and oh, now it's not looking so good. Oh, the oh, UDI was uh, game three DI. Yeah, I think that was that was Link saying, "All right, we're going to game three. I'm going to hold left, and we're just going to cycle it through because the Pokemon trainer changed the entirety of that, quit the entirety of the paradigm of game one. Steve was not present the no. previous game. Pokemon Trainer was present. Charizard and Ivysaur were especially present. Yeah. That up is a big hitbox. That down in two is a big hitbox. And Ivy was setting up, setting up into a lot and closing a lot. It was excellently played from the part of uh, Soar especially and from the sheer dynamic change that was presented to the team of Supergirl, Kells, and Soar. And when Kells was like, okay, I don't have to play a 2v1 nigh constantly in order to make sure that Soar is a character. Oh yeah. Okay, then I have a Razor Leaf backing me up. I can side switch super, uh, super easily. I can change my targets. I can play Sonic in this chaotic, like mm -hmm. super fast paced format. 
and it's, she's really making it look good. Yeah. So, they're going to be going on to game three. Um, yeah, I super agree with the Switch. I think it helps a lot. I really want to shout out Kelza's play again. She's always in there. She's always interrupting a lot. She's always getting a lot of counter hits. She's getting so many good punishes. She has just, like, so much presence. And it's so difficult to even keep her in disadvantage. She is slippery. Yeah. And she moves. And she it moves. won't even be with, like, spin charge sometimes. Like, she'll just, like, run up and jab people and then yeah. run away. So. <laughs> How do you catch that? How do you prepare for that? You kind of have to throw out preemptive hitboxes, which can get punished very easily and very harshly by Ivysaur. Okay, Game & Watch could be letting in the Log Boss, finally getting an upbeat into a neutral up it. That's that good stuff. That's that good Game & Watch damage that we always want, that we're always looking for. And now Kel's dashing in and out, dashing in and out, ends up hitting her own teammates. A little bit unfortunate. Gonna be a lot of damage gone, but she's trying to pick up pieces, seeing how deep you can go against Game & Watch. Vagamas taking their time and trusting Ling to fight out some stage, which they do successfully. Almost gets that down smash, but almost lands it onto Ling as well. So I don't know how well that could have gone if uh, it connected. That shield's getting real low on the part of Vagamas, though. They're just not pulling the trigger on some of these uppies, respecting spin charge a little bit much. Fair. <laughs> Yeah, right now Lagrimas looking for the jump call out, not able to get it. Link getting hit from a uh, down beef from across the stage by Kells. Makes it back onto the stage, but Lagrimas just barely missing the timing on the up throw, not able to get in close enough. And the first stock gone is going to belong to Link. Still Charizard kind of looking a little worse for wear, especially against this edge trap from Lagrimas, but the homing attack comes in so clutch. Saving Soar and leaving a Rage Charizard as a character to deal with, though, in the scuffle, uh, Kells does drop her first stock. Lovely Moss is not able to edge guard as well. We're not seeing like those early back air kills. We're not seeing like those early upbeat kills. Um, Kells makes it back onto the stage, able to go past that down smash. She's still in it. She is still in it, and they have an even game right now. We've seen a huge clutch trap. This will be an up throw with that platform available. Could have been a, a ton of damage, but instead it just turns into a reset neutral thanks to Lagrimas' game plan. For, uh, popping that Zard and immediately forcing a switch back to Ivysaur is Soar trying to maintain that game. Is that a winky face? No, that's just a normal turn. Okay, gets that back in, catching that jump. Really good call out on behalf of Link. Oh no! The air dodge, the deep, deep air dodge on the side of Lagrimas. So, so hard, uh, terrifying, especially since they, they went for an up the offensively oh, yeah. and just had no resources to make it back. Okay, charges that up. Waits a little tiny bit, looking for that F smash. Not going to be able to find it at that point in time. Turn up in the hands of Ling, but the delayed grab from Ivysaur catches the spot dodge. And it hurts Ling on their final stock. Makes it back on. Raku Moss not finding that back yet again. Kells keeps on coming down with the homing attack and is basically unpunished for it. Let's see if this combined ledge trap can do some favors, respecting some. Oh, put a bomb! Throw the bomb immediately away. Tried to snipe out some, as Kel's super deep. Didn't want to throw it towards the teammate either. Yeah, nobody needs that technology. Get it out of there. Not a fair <laughs> fight whatsoever. Okay, now all of a sudden, Kel's just looking for you that up there. Not able to find the pickup on Lagumas. Comes back in, sets up a tech chase. Wow. But Dude, there. Kel's was so on top of it until she was. I mean, she's making the right plays, but sometimes, uh, sometimes Ling is too, and able to uh, wrap up the offense that they showed up. What a play from Kells, forcing the stock chain immediately. As so Rocks, deep. Going deep. And this is, uh, with the 144 and this Zard in play. And I'm just charging it up. Gonna be going through that Florida, uh ends up dragging down. I don't think that was intentional. She definitely did not want to land on the Titan City flat. Unable to close out the stock is Kelso, and this would just be a back throw. Trying to save the teammate and the forward smash lingering on the just after hitting through just about everyone, and it ends up closing out the stock for Lacrimas as well. Now it's Ling has to power through both of sides of blue team who are looking exceedingly healthy at the moment, Dara. Oh yeah. Okay, right now just stuck coming back onto the stage. Lands with the down and then ends up falling out of it. Ah, oh, this is so difficult. Yes. But can you 
close out this stock here. A forward air trying, but the high recovery stuffs out any dream of a early stock on uh, town and city. Mm. Today we will farm. We are going to farm simulator. Will she pull right. out another root and vegetable? Will she pull out a weapon? Who will know? Of the spring hitter. That's. <laughs> All right, here's a thought. As we're watching just the slow burn of a 2v1, Kells and uh, and Sora not trying to uh, not trying to risk too much. There it is. Just needed wow. a strong hit in air. Just needed the setup. Should Peach be able to pull Beam Sword in this game? Everyone different. Should, like, Should ethically? Ethically, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's I think it's funny what she does. <laughs> I think it'd be pretty cool. It won't. It'd be frustrating as hell, but I think it'd be really funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. She just, like, gets, like, this, you know, funny little blade, and you're like, oh, Oops. man, I have this thing to now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that was a slow boot of the game. Yeah. That was, like, uh, slowly whittling them all the way down. It's hard to match Kells and Sol. Uh, Kells' stage control, immaculate. Like, truly mandating, like, a lot of the space, holding it down, interrupting, setting things up. Oh, wait. It got real good. It got real bad real quick, especially given the positioning of Kells. Feels like she's she's doing that thing of where it's like bait your opponent in to make a to make a big swing, and then you end up hitting your teammate as she dodges out of the way. Oh, yeah. She's doing such a good job of like doing a lot of feints in neutral with sonic speed you and pivoting back and forth into the design. Really you know the phrase, become un ungovernable? <laughs> become uneducable. That's that's the blue team. That was the blue team the entire last game. And this game already, they would have quite a bit of a lead that's already been amassed for themselves. Neutral and it's up, not fully connecting. So we're gonna be stuck at the ledge link coming down with the down air. And uh, Magumas actually interrupting Swag's advantage state. So we're gonna be slapping back though with that up Wow. Might be on the last stock, uh, the last game of the losers run for Ling and Lagramas. But they're not going down without any sort of fight. The deep edge guard attempt was there, but the timing mix up on Kells. Ooh, that's the belly, but Ling not able to capitalize on time. Interesting that there was no attempt at uh, hitting uh, Kells while she was charging, and instead it falls, she runs headlong <gasps> into Lagramas, and it ends up dropping the stock just yeah. as Sword drops it from. The, uh, from the Peach Nair. Okay, but the question is, how do you clean it up? One F Smash is gonna be the move of choice. Okay, just stuck at that platform. Stuck between Sonic and Ivy, so it's such a nasty place to be. Neutral be into nothing. Wow. Well, let's see, Devin Small day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, uh, I, it feels like this is where Red Team really wants to be. Like, everything is progressing pretty much as normally, but Lagrimas becomes so hard to hit. So, like, you have to commit so much in order to take out this game. You know who's hard to hit? Link. True. Link is so evasive, especially in like 2v1 situations, that when they do take off like Lagrimas' stock, it never feels like they're able to really buckle down and focus on Link. <laughs> Loving Kel's movement right now. Like, it is so, it's so flexible, whether she air dodges the platform or not, when you use to go Couldn't for spin wait. charge. The timing is on point. Red team trying to bring this to a game five when they're... Oh, what the what fly a, a there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and Kel's coming in to protect her teammate as Soy ends up going for that option. Now the question is, how do you make it back onto the stage? Kel's goes high, acts as a hitbox. Soy makes it back onto the stage. Their synergy is immaculate. And Zalagamash just waits for someone to fall into his down smash. Over and over again it comes out, but no one's biting just yet. The back throw... <gasps> Over to get the back air, but that time from Sonic. All it takes is that turn up. Gets Wait another... out that air dodge. What happened? What? Link got hit by something. That's hit by something or the other. Made it back on is what I would say until he just died yet again. And then into the F smash. Not happening anytime soon. Link stopping that. Link wow. making sure that doesn't happen. And Link doing such a great job of wrapping up this Sonic edge guard. Um, Timing the angles and prepping the effort so, so, so well. Oh, and no. Sword doesn't make it back either. Last stop on a piece for Blue Team. What a combo. Kel's taking 53%, but you know what? I'm not even sweating it because she has a lot of survivability onto the table. But that dash attack from Game & Watch says otherwise. Getting up into that down smash, 91%. Unanswered. 
Kells needs to find a way to get back into this. Ling and Lagumas are just on top of each other. Like, they're doing so well. Might be more worth it in order to try and focus. Oh, the up air call out was huge against Gogamas. Instead of focusing it down, um, uh, Ling, now they have a chance to just take Ling out of the game for good instead of just trying to like, whittle away on that stock count. The almost finding that up air. That air dodge was almost a little bit too late uh, for it to fully connect. But okay, so he makes it back onto the stage. What do you do? Who do you go for? Actually, Sonic. The bacon is coming out. This should be a, oh, just a dash attack instead of a forward tilt. But no, get up attack. Kels tried to jump instead of going for just the disruption, and now it's sore having to make a huge uh, comeback. But those tether cancels. Saucy. So Saucy as always. <gasps> the crawl back. Oh, the the bullet. See, what is, what is happening? Crawl back. Such good spacing into a misinput. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> That's so funny. Not again. <laughs> Stop with these Billy Boys neutral bees. No one with bullet seed. Oh, he jumps away. Oh, Sword choosing just to go after Lagamas. They're like, okay, Ling, if you're going to play so far back, then I'll take this matchup. That's but it. the switch gets called out as we head to a game five for our last set, Dara. <laughs> This 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 is a this is a really back and forth match. Really I feel nice. like something just like happened this game. Ling and Lagumas at some point, a switch flipped. They just hit the nastiest combos. They were vanishing. They became so aggressive, like in a second. Yeah, take the take the opportunities. I mean, that's the big, the biggest downside as uh, as Pokemon trainer. You're uh, while you have. A, a frame one air dodge in that switch, yep. and you have access to a lot of uh, broader outreach thanks to things like Razor Leaf and Charizard's big hitboxes, it, uh, Ivysaur's disjoints. We're not seeing much Squirtle, but the airspeed is still not a ton, and you can take advantage of that so, so well as both Game & Watch and oh, yeah. Daisy, especially when both are going off together. Absolutely. So going into this final game five of the doubles, Losing his quality match. This is it. This is the grand finale of these two. Okay, this is this is not the grand finals or anything, not but they should be playing like it. Um, they have got to find an answer to the way that Game and Watch is like sort of landing and getting back onto the stage on behalf of like Kells and Soil. Ling and Langumas can still figure out a better way. How do I catch Sonic's landings? How do I get his burst options? And that's a question that's even difficult to answer in singles. What's your opening? The opening is honestly it's hard to just kind of tell people it's like oh the opening yeah you have to make a read you have to make a call out and that's really really uh -oh. devastating to do especially in a doubles type format when their teammate is there to cover potentially any of those uh, any of those reads or options that are uh, that they're there for but it sounds like we're heading back to a much longer uh, much wider stage town and city let's Kells exert even more of that stage control that she was doing so well with in the prior games just needs to coalesce together it's tough to say who's going to end up taking this, Dara. Yeah, let's see what happens. So already going to be starting off with the immediate upbeat, knocking Kells into the corner. Oh, we think that homing attack that could have been room for the punish, but alas, Ivysaur is just not able to get there in time. Yeah, Ivysaur doing a good job of protecting uh, their teammate. Uh, not, not, letting, not letting players run ham into that tether reach. Hello. But that was a little up out of shield as a reset. Link gets one up in. Doesn't actually get that down and off on Kells. Ends up trading. We're landing all the way back down. Gets one back here, two back here, three back here. Gotta wish that was me. Pulls out a turnip and then landing a hit. Wow. What a what a turn of events for Red Team here. And I think this is like the best position for Red Team. Like early, early game damage. Oh yeah. And more importantly, make sure that the game and watch is healthy because Game & Watch is constantly a thorn in the opponent's eye. People can handle Peach. Game & Watch is extremely hard to oh. deal with. Absolutely. But okay, makes it back onto the ledge. Quick little back to it. Does not find the new killer at that point. And there it is. Game & Watch combos, Game & Watch damage. It is time to juggle. That is a whole gesture. He's, he's juggling. He's doing the thing. He's juggling all three Pokemon as well. That combo started with Charizard. Now they're on Ivysaur. Oh, yeah. And it's ending in 56% and climbing still. He's jumping oh. in place, and wh what happened? The so he's on his last stock? So, uh, hey, that, that commentator is of those small town and city blast zones are <laughs> coming in with Check a huge Check off your bingo cards, baby. <laughs> town and city got those narrow blast zones. 
and it works into so, so much uh, with that deep edge guard. And La when Lagrimas is surviving and edge guarding like they are right now, we're working on a six stop here. Oh, they, yeah. they haven't even hit 100% yet. Oh boy, this is uh, this is a tough game. This is so difficult to how like this that stuck in too. Oh yeah. Okay, Lagrimas is going out there. Doesn't actually find it. Goes for the delayed option, but you know it's even more delayed. Ivy Swilly's up smash. That is a very, very light. Slow move the with counter. a lot of stun. For sure. But the the counter with the toad there in order to stop the spin charge, the uh, corner pressure that is existing between both of them. Rolling on past uh, the the spin dash in order to make sure that Kells was on the wrong side into a full tilt on the opponent. The side switch was there. And I mean, I said it as a joke earlier, but this could have legitimately ended a six stop. Side ups? Nah, that was no shot. They're going to take at least one. There it is. <laughs> Beautiful timing. Um, okay, Lagrimas going out there through the back here. Goes back on with the Uppy, waiting out and punishing that early dodge. But not on the right side of Uppy Soil, so ended up sending him back towards the stage. Ooh, a solid team combo there. Unable to get much more than that, though. Quick 43. Man, it's, it's so hard to build this into a into a winning formula. So far behind, right from the eight ball. And Kels couldn't continue. Kels couldn't continue because she ended up hitting her own teammate. Feel like they've been stepping on each other's toes a lot, but finally gets that back here. They both air dodge. They both get past the up beat. Crazy that that very didn't result in into an up smash, but a good match. But there is Kells going a double parry. Wow. Edge guard? He got the nine. <laughs> he got it. In a hundred, yeah? Yeah. Here it is. Wow. That's the set. What a 